Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be sharing with you guys a Sephora Gratis haul. My favorite! This is like Christmas for me. I love it. Um, I'm just going to randomly pull things out of my little baggie which looks like this and as you guys can see I got quite a bit. So the first thing I got is this Ula Henriksen Contour Balance Oil Control Hydrator. This is what it looks like, and this is a full-size product, so that's pretty freaking awesome. It has a pump, and I think that this would be great for the summertime. Um, I have been drier than normal. You guys know that. Um, but over the summer, my T-zone tends to get a little bit oilier, so I think this would be a great moisturizer for that. I got this Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray, and this is in 1.7 fluid ounce. Um, I love Living Proof. It's one of my favorite brands. It smells really good. Um, I haven't tried this. It's a conditioning and detangling spray. So we'll see how this works out for me. Um, I'm always a little hesitant to try a ton of hair product because my hair is fine and it'll get weighed down easily. So as of now, I need a haircut. Let's be honest. My hair's a little too long, um, so I probably won't use it right away. I'll give myself some time to just kind of get a trim, and then I'll let you guys know what I think about it. I got this Vital Greens Face Mist. This is a refresh and set um, spray, <laughs> and um, it's by First Aid Beauty. This is what it looks like, and this is, I think, one of their, it's a travel size. It smells pretty good actually, but this is supposed to like set your makeup. It's also supposed to work as a prepping step. Um, and it's supposed to give you your skin just like all of the vitamins and nutrients it needs. So I'm pretty excited about this. I also got this Radiance Activator Treat Prep and Glow um, product by Estee Edit. And I think that this is supposed to be, it says use it morning and night to boost bare skin's inner light, then add more anytime for an instant glow. So I guess it's like skincare, and it has a pump, and um, like a, a natural illuminator for your skin. Um, I think this is a full-size product, so that's pretty exciting. I got a highlighter from them also, and this is in the shade Heat. Let me show you guys what that looks like. It's very pretty. It kind of reminds me of the Dior um, glowing gardens highlighter I think it was like zero one I really haven't tried much from the Estee edit line to be honest with you guys I always see it at work um, and I play with it but it's not like a line that I've really like actually used I got this facial radiance pads and these are exfoliating um, pads there's 10 pads in this little packet this I'm not too excited about because I haven't had, I haven't seen a lot of really great reviews on it. It's the Estee Edit Fluid Metal Eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Not Sorry, which is the blue. And I feel like of all the colors, this is probably like the sheerest because I did play with these at work. And um, all the other ones are like pretty smooth and not as patchy, but as you guys can see, like this doesn't go on very smooth. It's very patchy. Um, it applies heavier in certain areas. So I'm not too thrilled about this, but thank you. Um, I got a Marc Jacobs pencil in Mist Me. It's a purple. And let me show you guys what this looks like. This was actually one of the colors that I really wanted to get. There it is. And I did not get it because I have the little mini Sephora collection pencil and I feel like I didn't need another lilac color but I love this shade and it's always one of those colors where I'm like it's just a really soft and easy way to add a pop of color to your lower lash line um, and I love these pencils I have quite a bit let me show you guys so just to show you guys how much I love these pencils <laughs> this is my current collection and now I can add this guy to it. Um, but I have quite a bit of these. They wear beautifully. They're very long lasting. 
Um, they're very comfortable and they're, the quality is just, it's there. So I definitely recommend these to you guys. I also got a coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer from First Aid Beauty and this is what it looks like. This is supposed to hydrate your skin, smooth it, and it's also supposed to act as a primer. So I'm curious to see what this guy will work, will, will actually perform like, I should say. I haven't opened it yet and I won't. I'm gonna wait a little bit. I got this fragrance from Lancome. It's La Vie, Est, La Vie Est Belle. Life is beautiful. Um, it smells pretty sweet. It doesn't smell bad. I just feel like it's a little too sweet for my liking. But it is a nice fragrance. So I'll probably end up giving this away. So Drunk Elephant gave us some new limited edition products. They gave us tons of these little candies in here. Which, I mean, it's a cute idea. But really, we don't need it. And um, this has their TLC Sukari Baby Facial. Um, it says, return your skin to its smoothest, baby, softest state. And that's this little guy right here. This is actually um, a mask that you leave on. It's a treatment that you leave on for 20 minutes. And they recommend you using it one to two times a week. So I'm curious to see what this will do. We also got this cute little tattoo. <laughs> And in this little package, we got their Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. And I've tried this before. Um, let's see if I can get it to focus. There it is. I, I like this, um, but I didn't think it was anything all that special, to be honest with you guys. I hate to say that, um, but I didn't... I guess because, again, you're getting a smaller size, and, and when we were originally giving the product, it was like a tiny sample size, so you don't really get to see the results. And I'm going to have one of these little candies. Okay, so I just cleaned my hand. Sorry, I couldn't resist the candy. Um, with a wipe, everything but the Marc Jacobs pencil came off. And I'm scrubbing it, just so you guys see, like, this stuff is legit. So there. All right, so the last two products I got were this little mini um, coconut cream, coconut oil um, by Kapari. So it smells really good. It just smells like coconut oil. Um, I really feel like this is just coconut oil. Go get you some coconut oil from whole foods wherever and this is non-gmo sulfate free silicone free vegan paraben free cruelty free and i'm sure you can find this anywhere else it is pretty expensive but you are getting a ton of product when you do buy the full size of it um but honestly i feel like there isn't anything that makes this any different than like your organic natural coconut oil that you can get at the grocery store done I got a little mini of the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence, and this is an essence water. That's what it looks like. I've heard a lot of really great things about this, but it's expensive as, you know what, it's expensive. Um, but this is supposed to, woo, this is supposed to rebalance your skin, exfoliate, hydrate, um, and then just kind of like establish a routine or a balance for your skin to just maintain overall balance um i'm curious to try this but i am scared to try this because it's expensive that's all i gotta say all right guys that's all i have for you guys don't forget to like this video subscribe and leave a comment i do love to hear from you guys and for those of you guys that are new to my channel welcome to mi familia and thank you for subscribing let me know if there's anything that you guys want me to film or if you guys have any specific questions about some of the products that you've seen today thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll talk to you guys soon bye